TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update and currently have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Uh, all the S&P sectors as well, with the exception of the financials, there are flat. Uh, the energy sector's up 18 cents. So I take that back. Boy, we've got a mixed bag out here. The industrials are up. The uh, utilities are up. Consumer staples are up. Let's go take a look at what's going on. You got the Dow off 29 points. The S&P is down 19. Nasdaq is off 116, a little over 1%. Russell's down 7 tenths, or about 13 points. 1.5% for the uh, semis. That's 38 points to the downside. You've got gold trading out at 17.95. That's off five bucks. Silver's down 18 pennies at 23.14. Lights be crude basically flat. Natural gas down 56 cents. That's down 9%. Trade out at 573. And the 30 year treasury's off one point and 19 ticks. 129.17 is the print there. As we take a look at that nine panel market update chart, we begin with the ES Mini. What do we know about the ES Mini? Well, one, last Thursday, price busted through its consolidation pattern. That provides us with a measured move. Measured move says that uh, price should move to that level or greater than that level to the downside. Well, if it just makes a measured move, the price target is in a 3750-ish area out there. Now, if price is going to continue to move lower, we should see the spot volatility continue to move higher. It's trading lower. It's actually right now below the uh, low of uh, Friday. It always makes you say, hmm, something to think about. But the key level out here, 2388 in that spot volatility index. If price does, in fact, get above that, then we're looking at that move to 3753. The NQ, much like the ES, was also trading in a sideways consolidation pattern. Price busted through that. That gives us a measured move of about 10,883. That gets us back into the October and November swing points. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's got a buy the D point bottom. It'll change its trend, meaning a move to the upside if we see a close above the top of the daily profile. Therefore, watch 104.67. Price closes above that, likely the U.S. dollar index will head higher and the equity markets will head lower. You've got the price objectives of those consolidation measured moves. Gold has an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside, just been trading sideways. It has resistance at 1836.90. That's the top of a new weekly profile. Silver, the top of a new weekly profile, is at 24.39 right now. Price just consolidating with inside its daily profile between 22.63 and 23.95. Lights we grew running into uh, resistance. That is the uh, center of a new weekly profile at the 76.57 level. Natural gas pulling back to support. That's in the range of 545 to 565. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Monday, Please have a magnificent one, and thanks much for joining us. Take care.